go ahead and do a quick little tappy tappy there to get uh, the ships on the screen. Oh, wait, now, gotta look at them first. What am I thinking? We've got the Nautilus Mark III C by Cheese Cannon. Another super structureless craft. It's got some uh, cram cannons on here as well as APS. I think those are Sea Whiz if I'm remembering correctly. Yeah, the battles are quite diverse so far. Like, the the overall field is very diverse. Got propellers on the back here. This thing doesn't have, you know... Um, doesn't have the memes that the Revenge did, but uh, it does have crams. Which, that's our this is our first cram cannon ship. Of the day, of the tournament. And despite not having a superstructure, it's pretty. It's got a pretty interesting looking hull. It's got these little pods on the side, little flotation pods, I guess. Guess probably doubles as torpedo protection. Oh yeah, it does have a. It does have my chair in here somewhere. I can't actually get to it. Like I can't teleport. Oh, it's right here. See, Menti's chair. I did notice that when I went to inspect it, and I popped onto the thing, and it just says Menti's chair. Um, I know, yeah, why are they all getting DQ time? I'll have to, you know what, hold up. Before I go any further, let me make sure. Yeah, it's the right settings. Yeah, if the settings are correct. I didn't re need to restart it, but... I don't know. Couldn't tell ya. Anyway, uh, let's check on... We've got the uh, team, team Baby Shark over here. We've got the Mother Shark right here. Which uses, they, they both used fixed position rail guns that just kind of, well, you'll see. You'll see. I'm not going to spoil it. You'll see, you'll see here shortly. They've also got these uh, distraction things back here for missiles on both of them. They're almost identical. Baby Shark has the little blue line thing while Mother Shark has the red oval. And yeah, I mean, other than that, they're pretty much exactly the same. They do have uh, a couple of torpedoes. These small torpedoes are actually harpoons. So we'll see how those work out. It'll be an interesting fight, I think. All right, get the camera in position and away we go. Looks like only Baby Shark actually gained DQ time. And that's because it spawns off to the side a little bit and doesn't start moving forward. Lots of deflections off those heavy armor plates. Oop. Mama Shark losing her right fin there. Let's check on the Nautilus. Oh, she's been harpooned. Lots of harpoons. And there was the cannon. <laughs> yes, they are they are burnt guns. They just kind of vomit shells when they actually get the ability to fire because they don't get that ability to fire very often because they're fixed position guns and they can't turn to the left and right a whole lot without clipping and, you know, violating the rules. So they have a hard time lining their shells up. <laughs> so far, Nautilus doing all right. The harpoons not really slowing her down. She's just uh, keeping on. Mother shark and baby shark are kind of running into each other. It's not really helping them chase down their prey.
I really don't get this thing on the back cheese cannon. Like, why? Why is there just, like, a single beam slope on a spinner just spinning around? <laughs> nah, they're not repairing each other. Is the front gun... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a big old hole blown in. Yeah, that gun's not looking so hot. Oh, that was a penetration into the gun compartment. Mother Shark has detonated. Oh, it was to test your breadboard. <laughs> what is Baby Shark doing? Did it run into Mommy Shark and got turned around? Oh, getting hit in the side like that's really bad. The side armor is pretty weak. And there's a whole lot of explosive gun in there. Baby is sad that mommy went boom. <laughs> oh, and she's even gone belly up. <laughs> oh, yeah, there she goes. She's actually despawned. I don't know what the heck Baby Shark is doing. It's not even like... Oh, man. Oh, no. That's bad. Oh, that's the engine compartment, though. Well, there goes the engine. Yeah, the side armor of these is not very good. Oh, ooh. And that's uh, nighty night for the baby shark. Its gun just detonated. Why did it stop? Ah. Uh, I think they're belt feds and they ran out of ammo. It did seem like he was trying to broadside a bit there, yeah. Which it didn't do in the combat tests. Alright, that's the end of the round. So let's go ahead and clear out the scores from the previous round. Because I forgot to do that. And then 2770. I actually have to enter different uh, block counts because Mama and Baby Shark aren't identical. So, oh, I just closed my calculator. Good job, me. It also occurs to me that I didn't record the, the, the final scores from the previous matches, but it's a good thing I can go back and look at those. Uh, 2653. All right. So, so the Nautilus got 92.4. Didn't really take damage. Not that much damage. And then Mother Shark is kill, and Baby Shark is 65.4. All right. So go ahead and get... Round two underway, as soon as we find the ships here. Okay. Camera in position. And away we go.
lots and lots of of uh, ricochets off the frontal armor of Mama Shark. Even the cram shells are ricocheting off that heavy armor. Mama Shark's going in. Oh, Baby Shark launches a volley from behind. Oh, Mama Shark's gonna get a shot lined up here in a moment. Or maybe not, she stopped turning for some reason. Baby Shark's... Oh, there it is, there's the volley. Oof. Nautilus down to 92%, taking some pretty nasty volleys there. And a couple more shells from Mama. Full volley from Baby. Ooh, solid hit to the side there. Yeah, they're basically, yeah, they're basically holding hands, yeah. It's actually kind of not working out well for them. Because now Baby's like, oh, Mama, why'd you stop holding my hand? I'm just going to sit. It's, it's literally looked like it was side strafing toward the enemy there. <laughs> oh, it was probably the harpoon. It was probably not moving and the harpoon was pulling it. That's why it was strafing like that. Mama's turning to get her gun in... on target. And there's the volley. That heavy armor can't hold up to that forever. You know, like, I mean, it's durable, but... Not that durable. <laughs> Baby Shark's turning. It's just... Being kind of lazy about it. Why is it, it just, and then sometimes it just turns the wrong way, because that's from the depths AI for you. Oh, Mama Shark goes boom again. That show went through here, and detonated the gun. Uh-oh. Looks like Mommy might be going down. Yep, she's getting DQ time for sinking. She's going to get a sinking despawn. Yep. And there she goes. She's gone. Mommy is kill. Oh, just in time for the battle to end, too. 
So 79.2 for the Nautilus. Mommy is zero again. Baby Shark at 99.2 with three seconds of DQ time. So yeah, this is not going well for Team Baby Shark, that's for sure. And no, I'm not going to sing the damn song. <laughs> set up to follow the literal mothership? Maybe. All those shells just bouncing off. Ooh, that looked like it was a pretty solid hit on this turret. Did those... Did those torpedoes just... go inside there? Looks like it did, but I didn't see an explosion or anything. Oh, those hits to that side armor is like Mommy Shark really needs to not expose that side armor like that. The base AI is fine if you're just doing something simple. But uh, if you're trying to do something fancy, it doesn't work so well. And yeah, there goes Baby Shark ramming Mommy Shark again. Yeah, if Baby Shark would participate in this battle a little bit more, it might go a little bit better, but, uh... It's really not. Pokemon battle music playing while watching. <laughs> but yeah, Baby Shark does not... See, when there were two different targets, like in the combat test with Gate and Keeper, Baby Shark and Mommy Shark would each split off and take... take uh, would both, you know, fight one of the ships each. But now with only one target, Baby Shark is just kind of following Mama and not doing anything. Which is a shame, because that's just not something we could have detected before now. Since the Gatekeeper is a multi-ship entry, and oh! Baby Shark's getting shot at now. What's Mommy Shark doing? Taking hits to her vulnerable side armor is what. I think she may have lost her engines or something. No, she's still got engines. I don't know what she's doing. She's running away. <laughs> Now baby's getting into it. <laughs> you're a little late to the party there, baby shark. Oh, but except you're still not really turning toward your enemy much. There you go. I mean, you could have fired there. Mommy shark is uh, having issues. I don't think her gun detonated this time, did it? No, the gun's still there. Oh. Well. Um. Yeah, so that still works. <laughs> you saw it live, people. <laughs> gun 
hasn't been detonated yet. Kaboom, that de gun detonates. <laughs> oh, and there goes Baby Shark's gun. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, commentator's curse. <laughs> Need a commentator's curse emote. Yeah, that's that would be a good one. Yeah. All right, so that's the end of round three of our third and final battle for today. Eighty-six point four for the Nautilus, zero for Mother, eighty-one point five for Baby with three DQ points again. So yeah, that is a final score of 85.7 to 38.9. So that was a pretty dominant victory for the Nautilus there. Baby Shark just did not pull its weight. Did not pull its weight at all. Yeah, I don't know what it would look like either, PS, but if there if we could figure something out, that's totally something I would do. I'll have to think about it. It most likely was an AI issue, Titan. But yeah, uh, so that's going to be it for today, both for the YouTube version and for the stream. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, nor like, in future weeks, I'll probably do some sort of gaming after the streams on Monday, Wednesdays, and Friday. Well, on Mondays and Wednesdays. But uh, this week, after this weekend and get everything done, I kind of just want to take a break. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, folks. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.